So when you get to no fab day 9000, an owl appears. Don't blame me. Blame the Pokemon card pack that I opened up. Good morning, my beautiful angels. My no fab patriots. We have an interesting uh, article that we are going to be looking at today from Vice. Literally, the headline says, How staying away, well, how doing no fab helped this man become a millionaire. Savrish, uh, excuse my English here, Sav. S Sarvish, uh, Shashi, <laughs> Shashi in Farsi in like my native tongue means like piss boy, like someone who pees their pants a lot. Uh, Sarvish Shashi, Shashi, a 28 year old entrepreneur with a wellness empire worth 15 million, attributes his success to five principles, one of which being retention, S retention. Look at that. Okay, there he is. Damn, he's, he's doing a bit of plank action. That's pretty sick. Um, Mr. Shashi is a 28-year-old Mumbai-based entrepreneur with a yoga and wellness empire worth about $15 million. He has established more than 35 yoga studios across India under the name of Sarva and designed 25 yoga styles, including basketball and paddle boat yoga. Paddle boat yoga. Dang, that's pretty creative. Even before turning 30, this yoga mogul, often referred to as a CEO among monks, <laughs> has done a lot from flying in a private jet with Jennifer Lopez, oh my god, to chilling at private screening of Rampage with uh, Dwayne Johnson, Naomi Campbell for company. There's just one thing that he's, <laughs> there's just one thing he hasn't ever done. He's never had bedroom fun. And while being a virgin is not really the story, it it becomes so when one attributes their glory in this capitalistic world to the swearing off of what many of us consider integral to healthy living. Oh, look, guys, you're going to get prostate problems. You're going to explode if you retain and if you do nofap. Look, see, you see how what, what a horrible existence nofap is. You keep your energy in, you become, you got a stronger drive get more compelled to do amazing things, and then you become a millionaire? What a horrible existence. Shashi, who is uh, devoutly dedicated to his yoga principle, lives by a set of prohibitions advised by his yoga guru. No drinking, smoking, lying, stealing, having bedroom fun, or fapping. Proper, man. That's amazing. And this is... Look, I, I don't agree with all religions, like, absolutely. Um, but... You can't lie. Like, these are great principles. You know, that's that's amazing. <laughs> According to his guru, cutting out these distractions were essential for him to attain enlightenment and success. No matter how excited those beautiful yoga enthusiasts potentially made him. Uh, S. Retention is a core principle of Taoism, an ancient Chinese philosophical practice that preached how controlling or delaying your nuts could help a person increase their spiritual energy and improve their drive. From 500 BC to present day, the practice of holding in your stuff, your nuts, has evolved from a yogic tradition to subreddits with 44,000 members swearing off doing no fap essentially. And that's not true, guys. It's not just 44,000 members. Well, Oh, for S retention. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I think that the, the forum is smaller. People who are doing NoFap, however, we're approaching 800,000 members, which is incredible. Other slightly more indulgent and tricky methods of staying clean of the, <laughs> of the FAPs, which is a special technique uh, to achieve. Uh, I, can't, I, I can't say some of this stuff because I'm going to get demonetized. But uh, what is it? What is he talking about here? The celibacy and semen retention vow that Shashi has leave, lived by for the last 13 years doesn't quite cross swords with the NoFap movement. Oh, so he's bringing it up here, which is largely a support group. <laughs> what are these? Do you see these things that are popping up, man? Get this out of here, man. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I don't even want, to, want you guys looking at that. Can I just... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, with the NoFap movement, which is largely a support group 
right? For people recovering from prawn and fapping addiction. Um, but for this man, the premise of his promise to swear off all things related to the bedroom fun uh, was, was to seek enlightenment. Now we get the whole clean living philosophy, but how is professional success connected to celibacy and S retention? Isn't fapping off supposed to be a therapeutic form of stress release that fills your body with happiness laden endorphins? How could being a veteran virgin help make someone a millionaire in their 20s? I'm happy they finally brought this up. Let's see. Let's see what he says. So we decided to ask the man himself and and um, and how he came to this conclusion. So this is Vice. So, hello there, Sarfish. No, I have to do a higher pitch voice because the Vice guy probably faps. Hi there, Sarvish. So why did you decide to swear off what what many might say among uh, are among the best things about life? <laughs> I guess I was looking to find some kind of enlightenment and fulfillment. Growing up, I was very arrogant and would always get into fights with people who hurt my ego. I wanted to be a cricketer and got into yoga because my father believed it would help me play the sport. But I could see how learning from my guru taught me to be calm and took away so much of my anger and ego. This helped establish a sense of trust and belief in my guru. So when he asked me to live under my five precepts, including celibacy, retention, I followed his advice because I had already experienced his presence making a meaningful change in my life. I don't see any harm in... Bedroom fun or fapping. And nobody should ever force themselves to swear off without having a clear motive. You don't become a vegan because a celebrity or your friend is doing it. You do it because you're against animal cruelty and want to feel clean from within. It's the same principle that applies here. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that, man. Gorgeous. He looks so majestic, yo. He looks like a lion. That's amazing. So, how did you stay away from having the bedroom fun and uh, self-pleasure? So, how did... Okay, so how did NoFap and uh, staying away from self-pleasure accelerate your career? Semen emits an energy whose course can be changed from downwards to upwards by not fapping and not making the bedroom fun. You see, your nuts... Your nut energy is powerful. It is responsible for all creation of life because it's what leads to babies being born so when you channel that creative energy into your brain through a mix of meditation celibacy and retention it has the potential to make away all distractions and help you focus on your goals we've been talking about that for a millennia on the channel my guru taught me that when you concentrate that energy on achieving desires beyond the self-pleasure, it gives you strength to achieve everything you set out to do. Every time you fap, when you uh, nutting drains your energy for a few moments of pleasure, but through my abstinence, I have been able to divert that energy to my mind. But unless you're asexual, isn't feeling sexual desire natural? Isn't, isn't its conscious withholding distracting? I am not asexual. It's not that I don't have urges. I just know how to control those urges. It's all about being aware of your feelings and channeling them into productive activities instead. Making a mistake isn't wrong. Not acknowledging that you have made that mistake is. By being aware and mindful of what you're feeling, it helps you see the world in an absolutely objective and unbiased way. But how does one control the, uh, their urges? It's probably not something that a person can do overnight. You have to discipline yourself to make a lifestyle change. I built my discipline by doing sadhanas, which is a practice of cutting yourself off from all material and physical connections by doing yoga. I started by doing these for 11 days and eventually was able to do it for 40 days. The other aspect is to change your perspective on your desires and thoughts. Instead of objectifying a woman you find attractive and thinking only about getting physical with her, one should think about how you can make a meaningful connection that could improve your life. Not giving in to your desires, not giving in to your sexual desires, disciplines your mind by not letting any short-term urges distract you. Here we have some yoga action. Wow, that's crazy. 
that's actually nuts he has like is it both of his feet yeah he has both of his feet on our hips that's crazy man are there any side effects to keeping it all in yes there are going to be side effects to bottling up your or your urges initially you may feel suppressed and irritable when you deny yourself but as you discipline yourself you realize you feel less drained more energetic more mindful it's like after you take a vow of silence and realize how unnecessary talking about things that don't have any takeaway is. So you never had an O. Well, essentially an O is a time of release that makes you reach a stage of samadhi or thoughtlessness. It is a momentary happiness that you can only get from external stimulation. But through my disciplined yoga and meditation practice, I can reach the same level of samadhi. It's driven by self-care, self-love, instead of tempor temporary trigger of happiness. So it's not that I've never had an O. Oh, I just have a different way of embracing that release. I've been talking about that for a long time, man. Whenever you, uh, I did a breakdown of an article where they were saying, oh, you should fap, you should fap, it boosts your immune system, it boosts your immune system, it makes you feel calm. It's like, what kind of reasoning is that? There are so many ways to boost your immune system. You shouldn't be relying on fapping to boost your immune system. You will die. <laughs> it's so inefficient. You know, there's other ways to calm yourself. It's kind of ridiculous, this notion that, well, this helps relief. Everyone needs to do that to help relief. Stupid. What about wet dreams or nightfall of course there are have been moments where i've involuntarily released at night or had a wet dream you guys know what he's talking about but that's fine fortunately i haven't had a wet dream in at least six to seven years wow damn looks like he like overcame it i think one of the reasons for this could be because our dreams are influenced by the thoughts in our subconscious because I rarely think about intimacy, it doesn't spill over into my dreams. Wow, yeah. True fact, man. That's very hard. It's one thing to, to completely stop and go on the nofap hard mode. But to train your mind to shift away from those uncentered thoughts, it's very difficult. Especially once you start going into day 30, day 60, day 90. It's going to be racing. You're going to see a woman and you're just going to like, it's on your mind all the time. Time um, Is watching prawn allowed? My vow is, <laughs> what kind of question is that, man? My vow isn't about being allowed or not allowed to do something. I have watched prawn and generally watch movies or read books, which may have erotic scenes, but the whole purpose of my celibacy and retention is to be more aware and mindful of my thoughts and gain something more from life. People don't watch prawn to figure out how to, how smart the prawn star is or how to have an emotional and spiritual connection with them. I don't shy away from watching or feeling things. It's just that I'm seeking something beyond that satisfaction. Interesting. How has your celibacy affected your dating life? It hasn't had much of an effect on my dating life because I haven't had a dating life s in 13 years. But I'm happy nonetheless, because I've surrounded, I'm surrounded by fantastic friends and people who are in love, who are, people who are in my life for the right reasons. There he is again. Do you think you'll ever have sex? I could neither say. Do you think you'll ever have the bedroom fun? Come on, Mr. Guru, get in the bedroom. Stop being a weirdo, man. I can neither say I'm looking forward to having the bedroom fun, nor say that I never plan on having that bedroom fun and perhaps starting a family. My guru had asked me to stay celibate for seven years. I've done it for 13, and I don't see anything lacking in my life. Get a round of applause for this man. Dude, this guy's a titan. That's incredible. And, you know... I also like that they brought up the dating thing. He hasn't had a dating life in 13 years, guys. To Just to show you that, like, you can be happy. You know, with, with um, the bug that went around and everything shutting down. We're all so lonely. I know a lot of you guys are feeling like, man, I can't go out. I can't be with people, really. I can't have a dating life. 
it's not the end of the world. Like you don't need a dating life. You don't need it. It's not like an absolute necessity. Though I do encourage it. And though I do encourage you to befriend members of the opposite sex. It's not necessary. You you can find other ways. Keep a good so social circle around you. Stay like keep connected with people who are like minded and loving and are, and are on your wavelength. And keep doing that nofap and the sr i believe you know like we're like brothers people of both groups we both share similar goals which is to improve ourselves to become better and to be more mindful and to shift away from this degeneracy from this hedonistic trash culture so thank you so much for watching if you found some value out of this i would genuinely appreciate you smashing up those likes Drop some love down in the comments. It helps the channel, helps it get out to more people and helps keep me fed. So thank you very much.